Hey gypsies, welcome back to our hour. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know what I'm saying or doing today, apparently. So I have a Dollar Tree haul here. I just left Dollar Tree and wow, wow, wow. Okay, I got so many wish list items. I was crazy in there. Like, uh, yeah, I had to actually take the buggy out to my car and unload it. Usually I try to carry everything. Even if I have to balance something on my head, I will, you know, get it out without the cart. But today, no, no, I had to take the cart. So I have kind of a massive haul over here. And this is not even everything I got. A couple of these bags are from last time I went to Dollar Tree down in Leicester Square. Um, this one was the Beckley store. So, or today was the Beckley store. So anyway, yeah, I got some wish list items. I just want to say before I start, my name is Sherry, aka Twisted Gypsy. Um, and welcome to my channel. If you have not subscribed and you like my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. What are you waiting for? Also, um, make sure at the end of this video to let me know what your favorite item that I show today is. I just like to know out of curiosity, and I'll usually tell you mine too. Um, I feel like it's going to be a a hard one today. I don't know. And I got half of the stuff in the back. So yeah. So anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's go. Um, this bag right here is from the other day though, not today. Um, but yes, I grabbed two of these because Jack and her dad love these. Um, this is the hot and spicy firewalk sizzling rich pork. That just sounds good, doesn't it? Like sizzling rich pork. It sounds good to me. Um, but I got them one of these each and I think they're going to like them. Like I, I know that they like them, um, but I think they're going to be surprised that I brought them, that I'm actually bringing them in the house. No, they don't know I got them, but they're going to, they're going to eat them. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I got me this. I've never tried this, but I'm doing like the low carb thing right now. No sugar and all that stuff. No added, you know, stuff like that. Um, I did lose eight pounds last week, so I'm thrilled with that. But this is the fully cooked buffalo style chicken. And it just looks really good. I think it would be good, honestly, on some celery ribs. I think that would be an amazing little break my fast meal because you got the high proteins in there and then you're you know you're going to have a veggie um so basically it's 130 calories for the whole pack so i like that and it does have one gram of sugar which is legitimately hardly nothing okay so i'm good with that and then i got these i'll pair these up with that these are just a little and i like these because they are um, a single serving because I can get carried away on some pistachios. Let me just say, and these are already out of the shell, so you don't have to, you know, break your nails and your teeth trying to get them off, but they are um, 120 calories roasted and salted. And I love these. I love any type of pistachio, cashews, almonds. I love those, those kinds of nuts. Um, I'm not crazy about peanuts, um, but yeah, so there's that bag already. Now I do have some food products in here. Um, so this is another bag from the other day. Um, and I'm excited about these right here. So I was with Fifi the other day in up in Dollar Tree and she got her a couple of these and she's like, um, I've been seeing like on TikTok where people are using these to make like gift sets with different types of candies up in there. And she said, also, if I don't do that, I'm going to use it for um, like my hot chocolate bar, you know, when, around Christmas time, you know, to have the marshmallows and maybe the peppermint sprinkles. And I don't know what all, uh, or even I, I tell you what would be good to have it, use them for like a little ice cream Sunday, you know, a little, a little ice cream social type thing for the family. That would be a really great thing for us to do like on a uh, sleepover night, just to have like a little ice cream social with the grandkids and just have different toppings for ice cream up in here. Oh my gosh. I think I just gave myself the best idea ever. So yes. So basically it's just the organizer storage essentials organizer with lids. Honestly, there are so many things that you can do with these. If you can see, they are, there's three different compartments. I love those even better now. Um, I wish I would have got a couple more just because they're pretty fantastic. 
Um, I saw these nails in there, and that bubblegum pink just kind of blew me away. I don't have any nails on today, guys. I'm giving my hand my nails a break until this one gets healed up completely and grows its cuticle back because it's taken forever. So I'm just going to use some of the nail polishes I've got, but I've got plenty of nails to start using. But that bubblegum pink, I'm just loving those. I think they're beautiful. And then I got this right here because I, I thought this was gorgeous too. Um, it's just the LA Colors. Um, it is the Brown Duo Eyeshadow. I'm going to take it out and just see like what kind of pigmentation this LA Colors has because I feel like this is really pretty. I feel like it would be a really pretty eye, eye look. So we're going to check it out. Okay. I love that frosted one though, guys. Look at that. That frosted one on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Let's see. All right. We're going to go in with the matte one first. Very, very, very good. Wow. It's the same color as my sweater. Now let's check out the frosted. Look at that what even though my fingers are all wrinkly and it looks like i just got out of the bathtub or a swimming pool i don't know why like but that still looks amazing right i'm not dehydrated i'm pretty sure like i drink a ton of water but anyway boom i can't wait to use that that's beautiful okay and then um jack asked me if the next time i saw some chalk if i would get her some so they had these little egg-shaped chalks there's the colors. She loves to, uh, we got a sidewalk in front of the house and also our front porch is cement. So she loves to, you know, make murals and all that fun stuff. So these are some nice colors. There's all of the colors together. So she should be able to have some fun up in there or up out there. Um, I literally got these to keep beside my uh, chair in my bedroom because that is where me and my hubby eats our meals, our dinners. We always eat there. And every day when we sit down to eat, I always reach back in there and be like, here's you a napkin. Here's me a napkin. And I haven't had any napkins for a while. So I'm like, this color makes me happy. Number one, isn't it fabulous? Um, you get 30 in here and we don't need huge ones, you know, just a small little napkin. Yes, I could get the huge pack and all that, but no, 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 not this girl. I like cuteness. I like color and so be it. Um, I got these maybe to use for um, Easter. I think these are beautiful. Easter's coming up April the 9th, baby. And I'm making a big lasagna dinner. Fifi's making banana gluten-free banana pudding. And I'm going to use these. I think they're beautiful. I do have, you know, the different colored silverware now. So look at that. This looks watercolor, like watercolor-ish. And then this one, I love the looks of that as well. The gingham, is that is that right or is that wrong? I don't know. Okay, guys, there's that bag. Let me get in a bag that I got today, and there is some boro in here. Bo by saying boro, I mean boring. Like, there's just some boring items in here, but there's some fabulous ones, too, and they're all mixed together. So, um, let me show you this boro real fast. Paper towels, um, but... Remember, you used to get 140. Now it's 176. So I figure that just that it's like the toilet paper that I have completely quit buying. Unless I'm in a pinch, uh, you know, I'll grab a four pack or something. But now I don't buy that anymore just because they changed the consistency of the toilet paper, which I know sounds weird, but they did. Um, and like, even though you get more, like the consistency is just not there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't have that. So I'm figuring they had to have changed something because this doesn't look any bigger. Um, and it's 176 sheets. So I'm pretty sure they probably changed the consistency. So that's enough about that Boro. Um, I did get a little uh, container of tahine. My son loves this on fruits. Like, I'm too scared to try. I don't know why. I'm not sure which fruits. I think he had it on mango the other day. But um, honestly, he asked me yesterday if I would get another container of tahine. And I'm like, I think he calls it Tajin, though. Um, but I'm like, sure, uh, because honestly, in my heart, I knew that I threw our other one away because I didn't think anybody ever ate it. So I'm like, let me trash this, make room. So apparently somebody ate it. So anyway, I grabbed one of those. I'm still looking for those Kinder's Spices. 
Like I've been seeing a lot of people hauling those. I still haven't found them. Um, I got a lot of stuff on my wish list. Let me just say when I get done, I'm going to be able to mark a lot of stuff off. I also found stuff I did not know existed. So like these right here. Dang it. Um, these are the reclosable. They're the reclosable with the zip top thing up here. It's the Barnum's Animal Crackers, guys. These are the ones that when we were little used to come in the little boxes with the little string and you'd carry it around with your little string and felt like you was really a big hot shot that day and like it was like your purse, but also your lunch, your snacks, and you just felt important that day whenever you got a little box of those. But when I saw these, I had to grab two of these because I know that they are going to love them. I literally can't have them right now. So bummer, but they can. And look, just look at the packaging. Just look at that. How adorable. Um, they are good until May 21st, which actually is my birthday of this year. They'll be long gone by May 21st. So there's that. And I'm even making gluten-free lasagna. So that should be interesting, right? Um, Jack is actually home sick today again. Um, I think she might have strep again. I'm going to call the doctor, see if I can bring her in later. But yeah, homesick again with a sore throat. So she asked me if I would get her some sour candy of some type, sour gummies. And I'm like, sure. Um, so this is the Coastal Bay Confections Sour Neon Worms. And there's what they look like. And the uh, they're seven ounces, guys. So you get seven ounces and they just look like the regular, you know, the, the gummy worms. Um, but I guess it may be a better deal. So there's those. I, I wanted to make sure I included them in this haul. And then something else that I thought looked good. Now I'm not, this is for my son because I'm not a kombucha person, but this is the Koei. It's kombucha only better, it says, um, packed with probiotics, which is a wonderful thing. Um, but yeah, I won't even be trying these. Like that's just not something that I care for. I've tried kombucha before. It's like a fermented drink and I do not care for it. It's kind of gross. It tastes like vinegar sort of, but this one is watermelon. And basically it says, um, hello. my hubby would be fussing at me if he's in here, wouldn't he? I mean, Craven. Wavy. Don't forget, tonight is the, we're picking the winner, guys. Um, so this, it says, this is the lemonade one, and it says 25 calories per can, naturally flavored, sparkling beverage. I don't even know. Like strawberry lemonade, it says. And then this one just says, uh, same thing, but the flavor is watermelon. Just watermelon so that looks i mean uh, the can they look great they look like they'd be great but i just don't you know i just don't see it like i don't know i don't like sparkling drinks and i don't like kombucha so there's that um okay let me go this right here is from the other day um <coughs> excuse you ever inhale your own spit and like it makes you cough like an idiot like i do that all the time um so i got me these two these are just the brims the carolina country snacks is this one this one is the brims snack food in salt and vinegar now they used to have one in i don't know if it was dill pickle or i don't know I feel like it was dill pickle or salt and vinegar, but it was a, a brand that I felt like tasted like pure chemicals. It's too early for me to do a taste test, but I can't wait to try these. So these are the hot and spicy. So hot and spicy pork rinds. I love taking pork rinds and dipping them in um, cottage cheese, like as a dip. I love that. I just think it's awesome. And yeah. So I will be using those for that because I got a whole thing at cottage cheese. And then I got one of these and this is the kind that you buy the long handle. They also had shorter handles, but honestly, I got one of the long handled ones for this because I used to have one of these and things disappear from my house. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but um, I was glad to see this. So I got one of the long handled ones and yeah. 
So there's that. Let's stick that right there. Uh, and then last but not least in this bag, and usually I, I kind of quit buying these because even after opening them, I very rarely smell them. Even if I put them on the back of the commode and, you know, you're sitting there doing your biz and you still don't smell it. You know, what's up with that? So, like, I mean, it's right there, literally 10 inches from your face, you know, and you're not smelling it. So I couldn't resist this one because look at that. Apple, apple spice bliss. And let me just say, you can squeeze it up through here. It all. Oh. It just brings back fall time full force. Like when you smell this, fall time hits you right in the face. It smacks you around and you're like, oh, yes. So there's that. And this is a limited edition. So I thought I'd just grab one, you know, just so I can psych myself out a little bit. I could just, um, just keep it just for when I want to smell fall, you know? Okay. Let's get into a bag from today. I got four today bags here. Four today. Um, I just thought this was cool. Number one. Um, this is the Globe Light. It is color changing. And um, it's really cool. It says seven rotating colors. You know, you guys know I love stuff like this. Um, it is LED. Now, I don't know if it is. I mean, it kind of looks like the moon. Do you see this? I love it. It takes batteries, so I'm going to have to get batteries for it. So I cannot wait to see it. I'll do a little um, short when I put batteries in it later or whenever I do. It takes two triple A's. Whenever I do put the batteries in it, I'll do a little short um, and show you guys. For $1.25, you can't beat this. Um, I see stuff like this all the time, you know, um, for way more than $1.25. And it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just excited to have found that. I think somebody even sent me like a picture of it and, you know, just letting me know. Because I have a lot of you guys that send me pictures of stuff that y'all think I'll like. And y'all's usually right because y'all, you know, y'all watch me enough to know the kinds of things I love and go crazy over. Um, I found these two little B signs and you can hang them up. You can sit them, you know, on a shelf or whatever. I think they're absolutely adorable. This one right here is my favorite. Look at this. It says, be humble. And it's the bumblebee. And just look, just look at that. I absolutely love that. And then this one is like, be kind. And I love that one too. I just think these are both absolutely adorable. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, here is something else that has been on my wish list forever. Boom! It's the ceiling fan cleaner. Um, so basically, it is the microfiber fan duster. I'll show you guys. There's what it looks like. So you put it on a pole, or if you have tall guys in your house, you know, like I do, and if your ceiling fans aren't super high, you know, some people, I know their ceiling fans are probably way higher than mine. Mine are not. I could totally do it myself um, without a handle. So I probably won't buy a handle for this one, but I love this. You just put it, you know, right through, and it's kind of flat on top. So like you can just clean your ceiling fans super easy. I love that. I have been looking for that for a while. Okay. And then I grabbed one of these, and this is just the conditioner. Um, for some reason, we go through more shampoo than conditioner. No, no. We go through more conditioner than shampoo, probably because I always use extra conditioner on my hair just to make it easier to comb out. So this is the Softy Argon Glow Conditioner. And let me just say, wow, this stuff smells oh, amazing. Amazing. I didn't smell the shampoo, but this one right here, I smelled it in there because I don't want to get no funky smell and stuff. Um, it smells amazing. And I think with argon oil in it, it's really going to help, you know, with, with combing my hair out and stuff like that. Now that it's getting longer, I got to think about stuff like that. So, and then a while back, Fifi actually asked me to find her some of these because me and her were in a store that had a ton. And then when I went back like two days later, they were all gone and I couldn't believe it. So anyway, um, I got these for her today. I don't know if she still needs them, but they're the pretty colored ones. They really look Eastery. Um, you get three of them and they kind of hook together, I guess, in a drawer. 
I don't know. Now that she has her own office and her own desk and stuff, she uses stuff like that. So there's that. And then um, I got two more of the Glades. Let me just say, if you guys watched me the other day, I opened up one of the Hawaiian Breezes. I still smell it. Okay. I don't know how many days that's been, but it's kind of a record for stuff like this. So I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and get some more because I know they're going to smell good. So I got this one here, which is lavender and vanilla. And I love anything lavender and vanilla scented. Like I love body wash, candles, you know, whatevs. I think lavender and vanilla together are the bomb. Is the bomb or the bomb? Uh, and then I got this one here. This is the clean linen. You get three of these, although they are not in the shape of a candle. So I'm hoping that the smell and the, the length of the smell is still going to be there. I feel like I could possibly have one more up in here somewhere. I know there's one called something leather that I'm looking for for my hubby, but uh, I don't know. If, I know I didn't find that one today. Um, and then I just got this right here because I loved it. I don't even know what it represents, but do you see this hobnail feature to this? And I'm always a sucker for any type of bottles with corks. I don't know why. If it's a bottle and it has a cork, it's going in my buggy. Like, no doubt about it. And then it's got a cute little tie there. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Um, I could put some kind of tincture in it, right? Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. It probably needs to be dark for that. I don't know. Okay, guys. And then last but not least, no, no. I got two things in this bag. First off, I'm going to show you this. I got this for baby Ricky. And I gave him some puff stickers on sleepover on Saturday. And he played with those a lot. He stuck them on everything in the house. But the good part about these is, but maybe the bad part as well, as they really don't stay put good. Like they don't stay put good. So he was able to take them off of the fridge and put them on our speakers and put them on the bed, you know, and put them on his face and all that fun stuff. But when I saw the dinosaur, even though you only get like two stickers, I had to get it because he loves those pop-up stickers. So yeah. And then I saw this and I'm going to find room somewhere for this. It says each day I write the story of my life. Wouldn't this be wonderful if you had like a little corner of your house that you always go to and read and journal and stuff like that. Like that would be such a cute little wall decor piece. Each day I write the story of my life. I love that. I love that. It even has a little border. I just think it's a great little piece. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Let's see. I got a lot on my wish list, guys, but literally I did find some stuff. Um, I'm, I, yeah. Okay. So let me just start with this. This is just some Boro. This is just a 14 pack of styrofoam plates. And then I got this um, 15 pack of the, just the regular paper plates. So I grabbed those. And then let me show y'all this, guys. Like I was, I, I don't know. I don't know what brand or if this is the hemp brand. I don't know what brand. This is the Hemp Heaven Lotion. Hemp Seed Oil Body Lotion. Coconut and strawberry. I didn't smell either one. I just threw them in my buggy fast as I could. And I'm like, you're going with me. Um, they both say moisturize, soothe, and hydrate. And let's give them a smell right here, right now. Let me get my glasses. Oh, I just knocked them down. All right, forget the glasses, apparently. Um, yeah. So, I was going to try to read some on the back and see where it was from. I had so much piled on me, though. I don't know. I might be able to read. Hold on. Just bear with me first. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't get them. Um, so anyway, we don't know. Hemp seed oil, strawberry hibiscus is what this says. Um, let's smell it. I just, I, the packaging, just the looks of the pink. I just think it's, I hope it smells good. Please smell good. Please smell good. <sighs> oh, it does smell good. Oh, yes, that smells really good. I smell more of a flowery or floral scent. 
I don't get much of a strawberry out of that, which is kind of disappointing because I was really wanting to smell like strawberry, but that does smell wonderful. Okay. And then uh, the coconut, let's see, does it, does it, this says coconut on the back. So it better smell like coconut, dag on it. Oh, and it does. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. So those right there was really, I'm super excited about those. Yes. Okay. Next. Um, these right here. These are the Earth Lovin' brand. Look at that. Earth Lovin' Grin. I guess maybe Grin might be the, the brand. Um, so these are cool. This is the double, twice the clean um, flossers. You get 60 up in here. 60 flossers, name brand, Grin. What a cute name. Um, these are for me. These are the Fine Fin. Fine Fins. Um, you get 60 in here as well. And it just says tight teeth dental picks or tight teeth. Um, and some of mine like are, you know, like some of them double ones, they feel like I'm actually going to pull my teeth out when I'm trying to get them out. And I can't stand that. So I like the more finer ones. This is definitely me. So 60 of those. And then they have these grin kiddos. So they are purple and green. I can see through the pack and see that. But these are the kiddo ones. And I feel like these are fine as well. Um, get them flossing, it says. Yes, you only get 40 in the kiddo ones. So there's that. And then here's another wish list. See, both of those last two items I didn't even know existed. So I'm excited. Um, this I didn't know existed, though, and I'm super excited to find this. This is the uh, Chapstick Total Hydration. Um, it is the... Hold on. I'm, I'm pausing this and getting my glasses. Got them. Okay, so these right here. Um, oh, that's so much better. Chapstick Total Hydration with Sea Minerals. It says it uses the restorative powers of the sea to nourish the lips. Buffs away dry skin, soften, softens and smooths lips. Let's open one. Let's see what it means by buffs away. I've got to see this. And in a minute, I'm going to tell you the, um, what was I going to look up? Oh, who makes the uh, hip lotion? Okay, so here's what it looks like. It looks like a, a pointy little sucker there. Let me just fill this. I do feel like a buffing. I do. I can't really get a scent on it. Starting to snow. Yeah, I get some. Okay, hold on. I'm getting something here. Citrus, lemony. What is it? Does it say? It just says with sea minerals. I mean, it's not bad at all. It reminds me of like a honey citrus or something, but. I had to mash to kind of get it going, but now I just definitely feel like a little, you know, like if you're exfoliating. So this you would probably use maybe even before you brush your teeth to exfoliate your lips. Does it say? Um, it doesn't really say, does it? No. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, before brushing teeth, that's what I'm going to use it. And now let me look really fast on here. Um, manufactured by Blue Cross Laboratories in Santa Clarita, California. So I would say this is a name brand, Hemp Heaven. What a cute brand. Okay. Um, this right here, I was just needing some ponytail holders for whenever I do this. Some that aren't too big. And then I saw these that have little diamonds. And I'm like, hey. Why not get little diamonds? Because that's a little extra. I love that. And then here is something that was on my wish list. Rollerball fragrances. One is strawberry. One is blueberry. And let me, let's see how they smell. And let's just see how they smell. Er, all right. Because... I mean, who doesn't want to smell like a strawberry 
or a blueberry. All in that. I can smell like that. Oh, they're sparkly looking. You see that? Oh, interesting. These are by the Be Pure brand, by the way. Oh, whoops. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that smells really good. So that one smells good. Let's see what else we've got. I like that. That'd be great for an Easter basket, too, wouldn't it not? Okay, so that one smells good. Let's try the blueberry. The blueberry. Gotcha. Do that one on the other wrist. I'll tell you my fave. Oh, crap. Oh, that smells good, too. How about joining the two? I like that. I like these. Oh, what a cute little fragrance. Just like when you get out of the shower, you get ready to go to bed. Just put a little bit of this on, some body spray. I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. That's all I know. Okay. Um, next. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, look at this, guys. Check it out. Lip Smackers. This is um, Coca -Cola, Cherry Coca-Cola. And the color looks really cool. So I'm going to throw this on. It says Refresh Lip Smackers. Best flavor forever. I love the looks of this. Let's see. Let's take it out. Ugh, come here. I was trying to keep it intact because I like to do TikToks whenever I'm done with YouTubes. With YouTube videos, I like to try to do a little TikTok here and there. Actually, a lot of TikToks here and there. But... I can't get this one. I can't even get this one like in general. Let me use this pen. Let me just try this. There we go. Pins always do the trick. I thought. I'm here, a freak. Ah! Okay, got it. All right. Look at the packaging though. Look at that. That's fabulous. I wonder if it tastes like cherry coke though. Let's try it out. Show what that looks like. Wow. OMG. Oh, I love that. I love that. That does taste like cherry coke. Dang. I am liking that. Ooh, it gave a really, can you guys see? It gave a really nice gloss with that hint of cherry Coke. Yes. I love that. You can't beat that. All right. Um, let me see. Okay. So this is about my wish list. Um, this is the temperature alert device. Now, I guess what would be good well, it says alerts wearer of body temperature changes to prevent the possible spread of viral or bacterial infections. So that's kind of weird. Like nobody is going to like, well, I'm not going to say nobody, but most people are not going to wear this around, you know, waiting to get a temperature, you know, I mean, cause like, yeah, but this is my idea. If you have a sick kid, okay. Say Jack, for instance, you have a sick kid. And that keeps, you know, running the temperature, it gets high, you have to give them something that takes it back down. You can have them wear this. And then that way, when their temperature gets high again, you'll know it. You know, they don't have to lay there and suffer, although that is your body's way of actually fighting off infection and stuff. Um, so I, I feel like a temperature really doesn't hurt that much. That's just my opinion, um, as long as it's not too high. Um, but a low grade fever, I just feel like, uh, helps fight off infection. But, you know, if it gets too high, you like to be aware of it. So I think that right there is a really good, is a really good indicator of that. So that's good. And then I'm excited about this right here. This is some of the beauty guru, which I love the beauty guru products. 
This is a hair serum, and I've never seen a hair serum in there. So I'm going to smell this because, you know, I'm going to smell everything. I don't know why. I just have to smell. I just have to smell everything. So basically, I love hair serums. Um, you know, if you got dry hair, damaged hair, yeah. So this has rosemary oil and castor oil, ready to use dropper, 100%. That's the best part about Guru, about Beauty Guru, which is a product of Guru Nanda. Um, these right here are always made with 100% pure oils. Okay, so. Let's see. It does have tea tree, cedar wood, castor oil, coconut oil, um, rosemary oil. It also has vitamin E and keratin. So um, inspired by my heritage and in Ayurveda, Ayurvedic traditions, I created this line of ready to use skincare and beauty products for women looking for clean, chemical-free products to carry and use every day on the go, you can follow my journey on Instagram at Mindful Musky, it says. Um, formulated by a certifi certified aromatherapist. So I love the packaging. It's really pretty. And then I just want to smell this outright just to see, like, is it something I would put on my hair? I love the little droppers. It smells good. Yes, it definitely smells good. I would definitely put that on my hair. So what a great thing. I love it. Love that. Okay. There's that. All right, guys. Let's see. We got one more bag. We got one more. I told y'all this is going to be a haul. I told y'all. Oh, we got two more bags, guys. Okay. So what? maybe we'll just do one bag. Should I just do one bag? Like, I don't want it to be over the top. All right, let's just do one bag. One more bag because we're already at 36 minutes. Let me do, get this bag. Just come over here, bag. Jeez, Louise. Okay. Ugh. All right, guys. So number one, I found this right here. Just a little carrot, uh, wired carrot decor, floral garden. Um, like you could, you could, you could fix this up. So cute. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So I just saw it and I'm like, I have to have it. It's so cute. Um, these right here, guys, I love to get. And I haven't seen them in a while. That's why I got two packs of them. You get 20 in each pack. I love like when we're having like corn dogs or fries or something to give um, everybody's ketchup or mustard in these. And it just it's just like a special feeling, you know, when you get your ketchup or mustard in there. It's just kind of special. Okay, so these right here are Theoni over at Thrifty Diva's fault. Like, she was talking about these, like, being so amazing. And I'm like, girl, I'm going to go get me some of them. Especially this one. Like, she really touted this one up. And I'm like, girl, I got to I gotta have this now. So, like, this has been on my wish list. Um, this is the Romantic Isle. It's by EAD. And this is compared to Island Kiss by Escada. And these are little spray bottles of perfume and also a hand lotion, which I need for my purse anyway. But ever since I saw her video, I'm like, I've got to smell this Escada. Romantic Isle is the little name of it. What a cute little, you know, like I got to smell this. I'm going to smell this. Hold on. Yes. Woo! Yeah. Mm. I won't go too far. But that smells really, really good. And I love it because I've been wanting a little mini hand lotion for my purse. So when she said these have the little lotions, I'm like, that's perfect. Because, you know, if you have a purse the size of mine, you need a hand lotion this size, you know, real tiny. That does smell really, really good. So I got that one. I didn't see any of the men's, which she's got me wanting those too. There's a Hulk one and a CK one or something like that, uh, Calvin Klein. Um, so this one is the compared to Island Kiss by Escada. This one's compared to Dream Angels Heavenly by Victoria's Secret. I've got to smell this because Dream Angels, I've always loved that. There's what it looks like. I'm going to put this 
on the back of my hand. Mmm, yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. You guys remember? There used to be an um heavenly. Wait a minute. There used to be back in the 80s. There used to be a perfume. Oh my gosh. Baby soft. That's that's giving me baby soft vibes. Y'all remember baby soft that it had the pink lid? Oh my gosh. I love that stuff. And then we have this one here, which is the compared to Bombshell in Bloom by Victoria's Secret. Now, I've, Bombshell from Victoria's Secret has always been like my number one. So I love Bombshell. I don't know if I like Bombshells in Bloom, but I'll check that out later. But anyway, wish list. And then, um, oh, here's the other one I said that I had. Apple Cinnamon. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll put those on my pile and then um, I did find a name brand of eyeshadow. So check that. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the Nude Smoky. and let me just say I've never heard of this brand. Okay. I saw somebody hauling it the other day and I'm like, I've never heard of that, but now I'm looking. Um, La La Mercery. La Mercery Nude Smoky Shimmery Eyeshadows with the applicator. I like when they have the little applicator. I like that. Nude Smoky La, La Mercery. I don't know. I don't even know how you say that. So that's what I'm saying. La Mercery. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not only did I find that. Well, I found this right here. This is the Make Me Up. This is two-pack roll-on lip glosses, Strawberry Sunset, and mm, something, mel melon. What is that? Matt? Moody Melon. And you get a two-pack, and I just thought that would be cute for Ray and Jack just to have because they love makeup. And then I found these styluses, like I'm... I, they got, okay, they're stylus pens, and they have black ink, and you get two of them, and look at that. Oh, my goodness. They got a nice-looking stylus, and the the, the uh, ink is in black. This is a Greenbrier product, but look at that. So, I got that, and then also, I grabbed these pens because I love these pens to keep in my journals and planners because they're beautiful. I mean, why wouldn't I? love these plant pins. This one is the only one that they had with the crystals in it. Um, but these two are actually have crystals on the tag, if that counts. But just all of those colors together. I just love using these. They write good and I love them. And then I found these right here, which is really cool. So I'm going to take this one. Out. Okay. I'm going to, I got this one for Kendall to put in her Easter, whatever I decided to get for her. Um, they had a K. They did not have a R for Ray, but they did have a J for Jack. I'm going to pull this out and let's see what, let's see what it looks like. She can set this in her room. Wow. That's, not, that, that's here. Well, look at that. That's some good lighting. Those are cute. They did have an S for Sherry, but I didn't really feel like I wanted it, honestly. Okay. Last item, guys. I'm going to show that. Is this my last? Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to show this because, it, number one, it has a flaw on the back, which kind of ticks me off, but I'm going to try to fix it. Okay, so I showed one of these the other day, uh, about a month ago, maybe, and um, I was going to send it to my friend. And you know who you are. Um, but I think, okay, let me just say, I think my son goes through some of my bags of stuff that hasn't been put away yet and gets things out to take to a girl. That's what I think because I have things that disappear. I'm whispering so he don't hear me even though he's miles away or could watch this. But I'm just saying the rainbow thing that I was going to send my friend disappeared. So I saw this one today. I grabbed it. I'm like, oh, thank God, because I hate to tell somebody I'm going to do something and then not do it. 
So, girl, looky here. But when I was checking out, the cashier's like, and this is the only one they had, the cashier's like, did you know this was flawed? And I'm like, oh, he said, do you still want it? See that? I said, yes, I still want it. So I'm going to, I'm going to do something. I'm going to get some wood glue or something. It is on the back, but this is gorgeous. Is it not like this is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. So there's the story behind that. Yeah. My stuff disappears. So anyway, guys, that is my haul. Like I said, if you like me and my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know what your favorite item was from today. My gosh, I feel like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I knew there was going to be a lot, but I'm really loving the hemp lotions. I'm really loving the, the, um, sectioned out. I love these. Like, I feel like there's more stuff that I love, but these right here are definitely some of my favorite or two of my faves. I don't know. Uh, anyway, guys, I just want to say thanks again. And until next time, and don't forget, tune in tonight. If you entered for the 20, 6k giveaway if you haven't entered there's still time um by the time you see this maybe maybe i don't know i don't know go check love you guys bye